Hi, it's Peter, and this is the second part from taking Illustrator SVG files to 123D design. Correctly. Anyway, the one big issue that I occasionally encounter is when I import uh, SVG files, um, all the curved elements can get some wonky results. So, you, for instance, in this file, you see how the bottom part looks beautiful, it looks just like it's supposed to be. When you go upwards, uh, this guy, let's zoom in, uh, not so much. Do you see how it's not really that, it really something weird happens. And it has to do with how 123D Design imports a file. It, 123D Design just does not like small files. And that light switch was relatively small in his in 123D scale. So, how can we fix it? Very easy. We switch over to uh, Illustrator, we take the same file from last time, and we just uh, multiply that by a factor of turn. And here we go. This is now a huge Illustrator file. So we're going to save it as light switch, uh, light switch, SVG, just like we did before. Bing! And let's clear out the whole scene again. And now when we import that, now when we import this, it should, do you see how now it's a lot cleaner looking? You know, you don't have this wonky details like we did earlier. So, yeah. The one ca uh, caveat, though, that's what, what I encountered is, when you take this entire file and you shrink it, scale it, shrink it to a factor of 0.1, and let's press enter or click. This starts happening. I, I don't know if you can see that. Um, let's zoom in. All the curves become um, all the curves become essentially straight lines. So the one caveat of this method is that you have to work in a factor of ten for the extrusion part, and then shrink it down again. So let's just do that real quick. So so I'm taking this, let's take this major element right here. I want this, I want this, I want this. And I want, actually I want all of those parts. And I'm going to extrude it upward. Extrude it. Since we're working from a factor of 10, that's extruded upwards 10 millimeters. Here we go. So we have the first shape. Of course, we want to create these um, other, let me hide the salts and meshes. Let me take this. I'm going to create again these shapes real quick. And I'm going to extrude those on a factor of 10. Turn. The middle part we want to extrude as well in a factor of 10. Turn. Well, let's extrude it on a factor of 20. That will work better for us. Let's hide the elements. These guys, let's extrude them uh, on a factor of 20. 20. No. 20. Bang. And of course, we extrude these parts on a factor of 10. Extrude, scale. No, so, wrong button happens again. And extrude, factor of 10. And voila. Let me quickly do this, guys. Factor of Awesome, we got all those elements. Let's go hide the sketch, show the solid pieces, and we shrink this whole thing down by a, by a factor of 0.1. And here we go, here we got the file. I'm gonna put it on top, zoom out, measure, click, Click, 
And you see, and you see, it's as close to 70 millimeter as it gets. Like I said in the previous video, if you need to get it to 70 millimeters, you can always tweak it in your slicer or your other 3D program. So that's it. That's pretty much it. That's how you how you can actually effectively import Illustrator file into one two three D design. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, that was me, Chris Tietze. If you like those videos, please subscribe. I promise to make many more videos like that. Thank you and happy 3D printing.